Annie Doodle went to town riding on her pony. Stuck a feather in her hat and called it macaroni. Annie Doodle, keep it up. Annie Doodle dandy. Mind the music with the steps and let the boys be handy. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Go. What are you singing? <laughs> macaroni. <laughs> You're singing macaroni? So today is Annie's last day of therapy. And <laughs> what? I know. Look. Okay. Look. Look. <laughs> You're silly. Yeah. It's her last day of therapy. And she just got out of the bath. And I'm trying to brush her hair. And as you can see, she's in a silly mood. <laughs> yeah. Um, they start school in about seven days, so. What? No. <gasps> You're silly. So I didn't have enough clean towels last night to give the kids a bath, so, I'm wait so I waited until today. Hey. Um, but I figured out, since she's in a better mood today in the morning, when she wakes up, I think I might start giving her a bath in the morning. When she's a you know a little more awake and a little more easier to handle, um, I'm trying to get her hair brushed. That's my main goal right now, and it's not happening, guys. She has a knot at the back of her head where she sleeps. I can't get to it because she keeps slapping my hand away no matter what I do. So I'm really trying to get this done um, before her therapist comes over here. So I just had to go pick up the school codes for Lucy and Dana. Annie doesn't have one this year. But their online codes, it's a program called InfoSnap. I don't know if anybody else uses it. But there's codes and all your personal information is connected to the school district. And um, they have this special code that you have to put in and update everything and register them for the school year. And it's a pain in the butt, it really is. Because I had to go out to the elementary school and then I had to swing back and go to the middle school for Jaina. And it took me like maybe 20 minutes to get out here. So I have to keep that in mind for when the school year starts. So I have to go to the grocery store and pick up dinner. And I have to figure out a way to get back out here tomorrow because Jaina has open house tomorrow too. And I think Lucy does too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when. I haven't heard anything about her open house yet. But I'm going to call and check, that, check on that. And we'll go from there. I'm back home and waiting for Annie's therapist to get here. I found out when, I'm sorry guys, I found out when Jaina's open house is, that's tomorrow from 12 to 4 or 4 to 8, I, I'm not sure which. They say to go both times and it's recommended that we go both times, but it doesn't make sense. It's just wasting gas going back and forth and it's already like 20 minutes out from where we live anyway. So I'm going to go the first time and see if I have to come back the second time because I, it's not feasible for a lot of people to do that. Um, Annie and Lucy's open house is Friday, and I have to work Friday, but only in the morning, and I get off at 4, so I'm going to have to hustle, get off of work, swing back home, grab Annie and Lucy, and go out to open house. <sighs> Pretty much covers our week. Um, while I'm waiting for Annie's therapist to get here, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about weight loss, because a lot of people have asked me, what am, what am I doing to lose a lot of weight? And, um... A lot of people have the same problem I have with having a uh, low functioning thyroid and crazy T3 and T4 levels that are completely low and off the charts and pulling together, pulling e against each other, whatever have you. But the only thing, and honestly, the only thing that I've been doing is I'm just watching my calories and I'm drinking more water and I'm making sure I'm getting plenty of exercise. I'm on my feet a lot of work, which has something to do with me dropping a lot of weight, but when I'm home... I watch what I eat. I make sure I don't eat anything a lot of I don't I make sure I don't eat a lot of sugary foods or a lot of fattening foods or a lot of sweet foods. 
Um, or even if I do, I just go buy like the small serving size or whatever, or just get like half of that serving size or something. I never try and overindulge myself. One thing that I, that, that I'm really, really big on is watching my calories. A healthy person needs about 2000 calories a day. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, you need about maybe 1500 calories a day. And I know that sounds like a lot, like a lot, but it really isn't. And it's very, very easy to actually meet that goal a day. Um, at 1500 calories a day, I'm losing maybe two to three pounds a week, sometimes four pounds a week, depending on if I have to do a double shift at work, because that actually helps increase my metabolism quite a bit. So I'm keeping a food diary. I'm using an app called My Fitness Pal. And it's such a cool app, guys. I would recommend this app to anybody if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to get healthy. Um, you can scan in your food using the codes on the labels. Um, it gives you a full breakdown of the nutritional value of what you're eating. Everything. Everything is listed. And it helps you manage your calorie goals and everything that you just need to get in for the day. Now, I don't go out of my way to buy anything special, like no special powders or energy bars or diet plans or anything like that. I'm honestly just eating real food and just pushing it out as it says on the labels. Um, like, for example, yesterday we had uh, chicken and biscuits for dinner. Um, a serving size is one cup and I just had one cup of that and that's it. So it's actually very, very easy to follow. Um, also, another thing I want to I want to recommend doing is if you want to lose weight I want you to actually do a little bit of soul searching and kind of figure out why you need to like are you not happy with yourself or you have issues in your life and you need to regain control and that's one of the things you can actually control because a lot of people will do that and not realize that they're losing weight just to kind of regain control of their life um, or you just have a couple of health issues and you need to get those under control. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I am probably the most comfortable person in the world in their own skin. I, I am happy with myself. I am extremely confident. Um, I have awesome friends and family and I feel like I can tackle the world basically. But I am five foot one. I am five foot one and right now today I weighed 199 pounds. That's not healthy for somebody who's five foot one. But see, it also doesn't go by your height or your weight or anything like that either. I don't. I think the medical weight chart needs to be needs to be completely thrown out. My mom is really tall. Right now she's at her correct weight medically, and she looks completely sick. That doesn't not that that weight does not look good on her at all. She looks frail and pale and really thin. And because of how the women in my family are built, we're built for extra weight. We're broad shouldered, we're plus size, we have hips for days, boobs for days. I'm being honest guys right now. But that that doesn't excuse us to weigh as much as we weigh. You, you know, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to do anything like that. I'm just given an explanation and not, not an excuse. Now from a medical standpoint, there are people in my family with hormonal problems and thyroid issues. One of my dad's sisters has a thyroid problem and actually had it removed years and year years ago. And my mom's sister actually has a thyroid issue too. It was just only the inevitable that us kids get a metabolic disorder as well. So it is what it is. It's not, like I said, it's not an excuse. It's just an explanation. Now, for me, I'm really comfortable when I'm like 150 and 160. I was that weight before and I feel absolutely healthy. I was the healthiest ever and that was before I actually had Jaina. I don't know if I can make that goal or not, but that doesn't mean I can't try. Um, the medical chart said I should weigh somewhere around 120, 130. I look so sick at that weight. It's ridiculous. I look fake because of how my body is built I look like I have implants when I'm that weight <laughs> and I'm not healthy like that at all so 
if I can get back down to 150, that'd be awesome. If I can't, I'm going to shoot for maybe 170 because I'm really fit when I'm that weight. I know a lot of people get judged because of their weight because they're not, they don't weigh like 90 pounds when they're like five foot. And that's just, I don't think that's healthy. I just want you to feel healthy and feel good about yourself. That's all I want. And like if you're 200 and you feel healthy, then, then awesome. I just want you to be happy and feel healthy and just do what you can to stay healthy because realistically I cannot achieve some of my goals at my current weight I can't um I eventually do want to go back into the medical field I love that field so much and I can't do it at this weight it just won't be healthy I cannot keep up with my kids if I'm this weight and it's, it's just it's just it's just, it's just hard um, so not only do I want to just set a good example and help everybody out, but I'm not going to talk the talk if I don't walk the walk myself. So, oh, and I still have to finish the last of their school shopping. They still need socks and underwear and shoes and underclothes and school supplies, which I can't get until Wednesday because I don't get paid until Wednesday. So I have a spaghetti squash I'm gonna cut up and put in the oven for dinner. Annie, look at mama, what's this? Say spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash? No, you're not having the sugar. I need that, thank you. Nope, no sugar for you. What's that? What's that? Say spaghetti squash. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It's really soft and fork tender. And it looks like spaghetti when it comes out. That's why it's called spaghetti squash, I guess. But I'm gonna pair it up with this. And the serving size for this is a half a cup and it's only 70 calories in half a cup. And the calories for the squash is I think 45 per cup. So it's really not all that bad. So it's almost 9 o'clock right now, and I have to get Annie to bed. Um, her teacher actually called and said that they're going to stagger the students. So she won't go to school Monday or Tuesday, but she'll go Wednesday. And then from Wednesday on out, she'll go for the rest of the, of the scheduled year. So I'm going to get these okay. guys to bed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.